President Moi style. Mr. Moi never removed us from here. Mr. Kibaki never removed us from here. Even yourself, you didn't remove us from here. Even when people were trying to bother with me here, I remember the Minister of Lands, James Kuro, said that land belongs to Cornerstone Church. It has been our land for 22 years. Yesterday, tractors came here at midnight and demolished a five-bedroom house. Nabarao, I'm a certain member of parliament. At a state house, no one had not working. We must shamba no yet. We must shamba no watoto na wasuka. This is our land. We are going to be affordable. To be more to be affordable. We are going to be going. At a time when the jenga na piki pesi kuliko yiki tu ana jenga kama miseko. See, see, at once we are going to be more and we are going to be in number. We are going to be in a five-bedroom house here. We are going to be in a five-bedroom house. Baba hapa, mi nilikuwa kanzo 2003-2007 Najua mamu ya mashamba ya municipality vizuri Na mzee mwoi katika unilukuweko Nilipeana raisi mamlaka ya kupeana shamba Mzee tunanda ni follow the right procedure in 1991 Akapewa hii shamba 1991 Sasa tuwezi kutu kubomolewa Kitu kwa sababu kuna vitu Alafu rito na komisha na Hako hapa Ataku kusikia hata mambo ya mjimbe Wameungia kiburi Watu wangu wa meumia Na nini 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 simili Na mafuraha Aya mbani solidarity with my people Wale wame kumulewa Kulala uje Hata mjimbe wawa wawa uje na wawo Hata sii napanga hii mba ibaki hapa kwa hivyo wewe ndio mtetezi wetu wewe ndio mamua na sisi na mimi nikiwa hapa nataka nikuambie hii dhuluma imefanywa kwangu kama MP na mtu wa kawaida je atafanywa nini amewe mtunipa ba kama kuna mahali nimekukosea nakuomba msamaha tembee na wewe wewe mwaminifu katika chama na niletea tikiti hapo shibuli kwa kiwanja si kutafuta hata tikiti nitakufanyia kazi Sita peleka mutu mahakama Asira ambayo niko nae Mita peleka kwa kumuza chama cha ODM Hako mita peleka kwa Nae nae matangaza ni ODM Na nae nae mutu mutu na nae Na zae amale waka minikado fote Amale waka minikado uzo Na nae nae wafu wa kwa mula kwa mula Na zae nae 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 na achama na UDM kakamega na pia governor wa hapa kakamega party leader wetu Raila Malodi juzi nimekua hapa jana nimekua hapa na jamba na kushangaza ni kwamba hii shuguli inafanywa against court orders wanakuja usiku wanakuja na wakora and the main objective is looting kwa hivyo shamba hili ni shamba la county wale wote ambao wamejenga hapa they are paying rates to the county government of Kakamega sisi tumelani kitendo hiki and I'm very happy leo umekuja hapa kama kiongozi wetu wa azimio in solidarity na watu wa Lurambi na watu wa Kakamega county kwa ujumla. Tunasema pole baba. Sisi kama county we are saying we are going to be joined in cases ambazo watu wetu wamepeleka kotini. And the national government must compensate our people. Wote msimamo wetu na karibu Kakamega ningependa kumkaribisha deputy party leader wetu aunge machacha lafu wakaribishe kiongozi wetu. Karibu sana wana uparaji. Uko abdisha hapa kakamega. Ukione kitendo hiki ambako tumefanyika hapa. Na hiki tento imefanyika kwa watu wengi.
see my member of parliament peke yake watu wengi na mimi vile najua haya mashamba ilikuwa chini ya county council mpaka 1988 ikatoka 1988 ikaja kwa municipality wakati kakameka county kakameka town ilikuwa promoted to municipality so hii mashamba ambayo unaona hapa ni ya municipality shamba ya serikali kuu hakuna hapa sasa hatuoni ni kwa nini wanakuja hapa ku demolish hii houses za watu aswa watu binafs ambao wana title deed hii ni kitendo kibaya watu wetu wanapata shida unaona wanakuja usiku na tujui nani anafanya haya mambo hii ni kitendo kibaya kabisa karibu baba then the government cannot do this kind of thing this is a beastly act of aggression committed by people who purport to be members of uh, leaders of a government this is not something that is expected even during the worst days of nyayo's dictatorship we never witnessed a thing like this here hii ni kitendo cha unyama ambayo imefanyika dhidi ya wakenya ambaye hawana hatia yoyote watu ambao matia yao ni kumiliki na nyumba yani wao vile mmesikia mjumbe amesema eh mwenyewe alinunua shamba hii kwa mzee akalipa pesa na akajenga nyumba yeye mwenyewe yeye mwenyewe ndiye anaishi hapa na serikali inakuja tena inakuja usiku usiku ni wachawi ndio wanatembea wana usiku kama wewe unajua unakuja kufanya kitendo cha halali unakuja mchana unakuja na makatazi yako unakabidhi ile ambayo iko pale unasema sisi tumepea amri kuja kubomoa mimi nimebomoa manyumba ya watu nilipokuwa waziri wa barabara na ujenzi lakini ilikuwa inafanyika mchana tena nilikuwa nimewaambia maofisa pale waende kule wamwonyeshe kila mtu notisi imetoka kwa serikali kwa sababu gani tulikuwa tunafanya kitu kama hicho sasa kama serikali nasema wanataka kujenga manyumba kwa watu na wanabomoa manyumba ya watu wengine sasa hiyo ni kazi gani hiyo si kazi bure hiyo kazi bure sana sio ati wewe ulazimisha mtu ati mpaka aende kwa ile manyumba wewe umejenga juzi mahakama ilisema hii kodi ya manyumba ambayo wamelileta ni sio halali ni kinyume cha cha, cha, cha katiba lakini bado wanaziri kufanya vitendo kama haya hapa sisi tunasema hii tunalani vikali tunalani vikali sana 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 na vile umesema waenda kwa mahakama wafanye kazi yake lakini sisi tunasema maana mengine baadaye juu hii mambo kama imefanyika hapa siku ya leo tunasema wale wote ambao maathirika hapa pole ni sana sisi tuko na nyinyi pamoja na huyo mjane ambaye ame, ame nyumba yake imebomolewa sisi tutapata yeye mchango yeye tukumsaidia asante sana